And in the locker room, each guy has been going over. Well, the ceremony was. Thank you, DA. And they've got a few injuries on their bench. Less options, but you think not too big of an impact for them. Two players injured, one of their stars out. Something they'll have to dig deep to overcome. And the Clippers starting five. Batuma's out there with Ivica Zubac. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. Then it's Paul George, and it's Jackson in a point. And for Milwaukee, Giannis is the four with Lopez the five. Dante DiVincenzo, he's out there with Holiday, and it's Middleton in at the three, the small forward. Now here is George, following the miss by Brooke Lopez. George dishes to Batum, and foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Two terrific defenses tonight, Greg. They do it in a variety of ways. It's been hard for either team to score. You know, strong on ball, in help, in transition, and both coaches doing such a great job of making the adjustments. And listen, the reality is defense still can be a factor in determining who wins and who loses. And we're seeing it right before our eyes. Oh, I love watching Brooke Lopez go to work. Superb at playing to his strengths down on the box. The pass to Leonard. Kicks it to Batum. DiVincenzo against George. Pass to Zubac. Good D by Lopez. Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. And it's blocked. They get it back. Pass to Leonard. The shot will not fall. Good D by Lopez. When the story of Kawhi Leonard is told, it will be about the hard work being the secret of his success. Here was a guy who was not the most vaunted prospect in either high school or college. But boy, he kept his eyes on what he was after and he kept working. Right side, George. Los Angeles with another miss. Boy, a miss like that will drive any score crazy, especially with the defender giving a cushion. Here's onto Takumbo. And the layup's good off the glass. And Doris, you were talking about Leonard's work ethic. Going back to San Diego State, he used to come in at 6.30 in the morning. No lights on in the gym, so he brought his own lamps. I mean, the guy was dedicated. <laughs> no doubt, Kevin, and that has been the through line of his career. First to practice, last to leave. He has that hunger to improve, the drive and the desire to put in the time to be great. There's a price to be paid, and he's willing to pay it. Milwaukee with the ball after the Clippers pick up two. Outside Holiday, six to shoot. And Holiday throws it down. And, and Holiday's nimbleness gets him to the hoop on that one. His athletic ability is off the charts. Outside Jackson, over in the corner, Batum. There's the lob to Jackson. My goodness. Say, save that one. I, I want to see that again. Me too. Just absolutely beautiful. 157 left in the first quarter of the game. Outside Holiday. He's looking for Giannis and finds him. Savvy play from Holiday. Quick thinking helps him get the ball to the wide open man. Here's Jackson. Passes it to George. Wide open look. Another one falls for the Clippers. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. They know that if this guy goes off, their chances of winning rise exponentially. Now here is Holiday. The kick out to Lopez. 
Middleton outside. That three off the mark. Clippers have gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Here's Holiday. And the rejection by Jackson. And it's out of bounds. The Bucks able to retain possession here. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Pat Connaughton comes in for Dante DiVincenzo. And then for the Clippers. Patterson, he's checked in for Zubats. Morris comes in for Nicholas Batum. Arjan Rondo is subbed in for Reggie Jackson. Now here's Middleton. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And here we go with Morris running it up the court. And there's Paul George on the assist by Morris. And that ties it up. 36 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Holiday looking for an opening. Over Rondo. Here's Lopez. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Marcus Morris picks one up there. Lopez has mastered the art of the pump fake. He gets the defense lifted. Terrific patience. And some changes here for the Bucks. Portis, he's checked in for Chris Middleton. And it's Bryn Forbes in for Drew Holiday. This is what makes him a challenge to stop. He will beat you from the floor, and he can also beat you from the line. And here's Rondo. There's the pass to Mann. Here's Morris. In the corner, Kennard with it. And he overshot that one, missing. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Bucks ahead, up by two. And we'll get going after this. This is what Giannis Antetokounmpo recently told us when he was asked about his goals this past For me personally, I just want and for Giannis, Greg, the consistency from range has been a focal point. Yeah, the more accurate he is from outside, the wider the driving lanes become, making him nearly impossible to stop. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Bucks, guys. Playing inside out in that first quarter led to some high percentage shots in the paint. It is great when you can get that established early because to me it opens up every other aspect of your game. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. And Milwaukee looking at who they've got. They've got Dante DiVincenzo. E.J. Tucker is out there with Bobby Portis. And it's Forbes in at the point guard position. Kennard on the wing. Rondo with the ball. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Pope loose. Now the Bucks moving it up. Here's DiVincenzo. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. DiVincenzo's got the lead up to four now for the Bucks. Now here's Rondo. Kennard on the wing. Pass to man. Down low, Portis brings the double team. Rondo with a clean look. Off target from three-point range. Well, they are daring him to miss, and he obliges. Here's Connaughton. Hits the three-point bomb. Connaughton's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Now Rondo. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. Here's Morris. They need this. The rebound by the Bucks. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. The very definition of quality transition offense. If it can end at the cup, it's exactly where you want it. Right side, Rondo. And that one hits back iron. Bucks leading by nine. Bucks passing it around. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. 
Well, it seems like every year, Greg, we see some incredible new players come to the NBA, and they are welcome with open arms. Their, their style of play is so terrific. No doubt about it. You know, guys like John Moran, I think he's got a chance to be one of the greats. And any list about the future of the NBA has to include Luka Doncic. I don't know if there's a better basketball talent than that young man. And, you know, let's not forget about Devin Booker out in Phoenix as well. A, a terrific, terrific player. Three terrific kids. You're right. There's the lob and the combo up high to stop the alley -oop. And one of the most athletic players in the league. Giannis makes those alley oop jams look easy. George passes to Zubats to stop the drought. That falls. Nice feed that time from George. Good job attacking. Those restricted area shots are what every NBA team is looking for. One thirty-two left in the first half. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Kevin, good evening. The Clippers were picked by many to win the title last year. Now, they didn't get it done, but Kawhi Leonard is not concerned. He said, we've just got to keep getting better. Keep fighting. It's about the right team peaking at the right time. Guys, they're hoping this season, their talent and their fight will win out. Back to you. We will see. Good stuff, D.A., thanks. Jackson finds Leonard. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And Kawhi Leonard, one of the league's most dominant rebounders, doors from the wing position. Four man gets paid. That was his motto from back in high school and college. It's all about hard work and earning your keep, according to Kawhi. And the Bucks making a change here. Lopez is checked in. Pass to Ana de Kumbo. It's tipped. Jackson with it. Now guarded by Anadokumbo. And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. Well, that's about recognizing a transition opportunity when it presents itself. Nice job by Kawhi Leonard. 30 seconds left to play in the first half. Back to Anadokumbo. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Leonard on the wing. A three. Up and in. Off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. Well, Kawhi Leonard put in the time to become a big-time threat from range. That is beautiful. Here's Holiday. Over Jackson. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks with their lead standing at six points. All right, David, thank you, and stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie John. A competitive matchup for Milwaukee in the first quarter. They were never able to get the lead above four. Well, for the Bucks, And that's... And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. You have to like what we're seeing from Giannis Antetokounmpo. Man, how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And one would expect that the defense made some adjustments at halftime, but he has the ability to answer right back. Setting the floor for the Clippers. Batum is out there with Kawhi Leonard. Then it's Ivica Zubac. Then there's Jackson, and it's George in at the shooting guard. Jackson against Holiday. Launches a three, and he's good on the three ball. Holiday's got five. You gotta respect the range of Holiday if you're the Dean, showing he can hurt you from that area. Entered on the wing. On the wing, George. 
Shot clock at six. And he wills that one in, sinking right through off the back iron. There's a rhythm with which Paul George plays the game of basketball. That pace is so important. Outside Holiday. It's hauled in by Zubats. I'll tell you, he's trying to help them extend this lead, but it's been a tough night for him individually. And here's Leonard from three. No good there. The Bucks go the other way with it. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Azitakumbo, no good. And it's Leonard with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Trailing by five. For Milwaukee, they've gone one of three since starting the second half. And finished off by Leonard. Uh, there's a real knack for understanding when a guy is uncovered. And Paul George's court awareness on display right there. Beautiful. Holiday, the pass to Lopez. Middleton against Leonard. The kick out to Holiday. Milwaukee needs to get off a shot here. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Boy, not on the same page there, and in a possession ball game, that's a big mistake. And the Bucks with some changes. Bobby Portis comes in for Giannis under the Kumbo, and it's Pat Connington in for Chris Middleton. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. And he's all over that shot, has it read the whole Three. way, and gets the position he needs to make a play. And the Bucks making a change here. Tucker's checked in. Bucks leading by three. Outside Holiday. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Holiday's got five points in the quarter. Oh, a nifty finisher. You didn't think Holiday would back down inside, did you? Passes to Kennard. Right around three minutes into the second half. Patterson. It's deflected. And it's the Bucks on the break. Here's DiVincenzo. Hammers it on to polish off the break. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Rondo looking around. Great D that time from Portis. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. DiVincenzo passes to Portis. Over Morris. Portis can't get it to go. Clippers trail by seven. To the middle. Here's Mann. And he uses the glass on the layup. The love the awareness from Rondo. Just an excellent passer who's actively looking for his teammates. There's a minute left to play here in the third. Holiday, the pass to Portis. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. And the Bucks lead by seven. And not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. Sticking to the high percentage shots. Playing smart with the lead. Outside Rondo. That one misses. So Milwaukee will take it the other way. Donatin passes to DiVincenzo. Now Portis. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And now it's a nine-point Bucks lead. And they're beginning to just flat-out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Rondo against Holiday. Rondo, good. Rondo's got his first bucket in this one. And although not the biggest guy, you got to love how Rondo uses his body inside. Has a great touch as well around the rim. Boy, that's the kind of look this offense is designed to create. That's just a tough miss. The third quarter comes to a close. Bucks lead by seven. And we'll get going. 
fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks as always for joining us. Bucks leading by seven. Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. Then it's Holiday. Then it's Brooke Lopez. And it's Connaughton in it with the two spot. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. And that move has become second nature for Giannis. Once he establishes position, game over. Leonard inside, defended by Middleton. Left side, George. Five to shoot. Can't hit the free throw line jump. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. And Giannis throws it down. Hey, can you really compare players from completely different eras? I mean, people love to talk about the greatest of all time. You know, Kev, some players do transcend eras. There, there is no doubt about that. Wilt's a great example, and there are many others. But, but in reality, to your point, the style and the way in which the game was played was so different uh, that it isn't fair. I mean, all you can be is the best of your generation or one of the best, and I, I think that should stand no matter what the conversation is. Like, there's no doubt in your mind, Oscar Robertson could play in this era as well as he played when he no doubt. Bill Russell, all those guys. Yes, the truly yes. great ones. So much of your ability to perform at a high level is built around your confidence and your belief in your abilities. And those guys had it as much as anybody who's ever played the game. Outside Leonard. And off the front iron, and in it goes. Now Kawhi Leonard consistently efficient with his scoring ability. Nice jumper. And here is Hunter Dekumbo. Basket number eight for him on 13 tries. That's 62% so far. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. And here's George for three. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And it's Antetokounmpo with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Bucks. Middleton for three. Lopez, the tip in on the offensive rebound. Lopez has got the lead up to 13 now for the Bucks. Listen, guys, Brooke Lopez has a big body, and if you don't box him out, he's going to get some work done on the glass. Jackson drives in. On the wing, Jackson. George looking around. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Antetokounmpo's got four rebounds now tonight. It's stolen by Morris. Outside Leonard. A three-pointer off the mark. And even without that three-ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Giannis passes to Lopez. Middleton outside. To the inside. And Holiday kicks to Lopez. Nice open look, but it's no good. Well, you simply have to shake that one off, right? You can't let that kind of missed opportunity bother you. And a lot of attention on, onto the Kumpo's offense, but don't sleep on the D. He, he can defend every part of the court and does it with intensity. No question as to which team gave the better effort tonight. A dominant performance and an outstanding win for Milwaukee. The biggest factor tonight had to be their great shooting. They shot much better than the other team. Yeah, they were working hard on both sides of the floor, but that sky-high field goal percentage plus the pressure defense to force the other team into a lot of misses. Love the effort tonight. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Giannis Antetokounmpo. It was the kind of game for him that all scorers dream of, where the basket seemed as wide as a barrel. Five on the clock. Back to Patterson. Lopez with the steal. 
Holiday, the pass to Andacumbo. Puts up a three. Milwaukee the rebound. The wide open look here for Holiday. His three pointers off the mark. And the wide open shot for Morris. Good. Well, this is why it helps to have a big man capable of. Scoring. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that about wraps it up for Dorisburg. David.
Robin and... Thanks, David. Looking now at the lineup for both teams tonight. Some names out of action. And with both teams at less than full strength, we'll have to see which side is able to remain more effective. Here are the five for the Clippers. We've got Reggie Jackson. Batuma's out there with Kawhi Leonard. Then it's Ivica Zubac. And it's George in at the two spot. And for Portland, the high-powered backcourt pair. Willard and McCollum. Nurkic is out there with Robert Covington. And it's Powell in at the three, the small forward. The homecoming for Paul George. Playing in L.A. with the Clippers. They gave up a King's ransom to OKC. Five first-round picks and Danilo Gallinari and Shea Gilgis Alexander. Here's Leonard. And he drops in the layup off the glass. One of the more physical wings in the league. Kawhi gets smacked there, but not to be denied. Lillard with it. Fires the three. A putback. Beasting on defense. First, he closes out hard on the shooter. Then he attacks the glass. Filthy. And he converts the layup. Attacking, trying to get good looks. Give Kawhi credit. He finds one. And, guys, the Clippers were willing to give almost anything for PG because they basically got Kawhi Leonard in the deal as well. And let's remember, G.A., he could have been a Laker. They would have had to trade away the second pick in the 2017 draft. That or Brandon Ingram. Their loss became the Clippers game. And the rejection by Zubats. Jackson has the open look. It's good from long range. Excellent pass, PG-13, keeping his eyes up, using his vision. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And that one's good, Lillard. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. George with no one around. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. One-on-one -on -one here. McCollum, no good. This is the shot you want right at the rim. He just couldn't deliver. Here's George. Rebounded by Covington. Portland's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Powell, no one around him. And again, it's the Trailblazers from deep. And we talk about court awareness. There, McCollum doing a beautiful job spotting the open man. To the paint. Zubac the pass to Leonard. Jackson kicks to Leonard. Three-pointer. Los Angeles keeps it going. A new 14-second shot clock. Passes it to Jackson. Tries again. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. McCollum outside. Pass to Powell. We've got 148 left in the first. Yep, that one goes in there. Powell's got five points so far. You know, Greg, we know there's some power finishers in the NBA like Giannis Antetokounmpo, but he complains a lot that he needs to sell contact rather than muscle through it. How do you evaluate those kind of power finishers in the game? Well, I mean, they're still power will always play a role, especially when you can add in quickness and athleticism. And I think you start right there with Giannis. I mean, he's kind of epitomizes that. LeBron obviously is still in that category. And a guy like Kawhi Leonard, uh, he can send you into the stanchion when he gets going downhill as well. On the wing, George. He's guarded by McCollum. Nobody near Leonard. No good again that time. This is the shot they wanted to get. Right guy, right spot, wrong result. Here's Willard. That fall. Nice feed that time from McCollum. He's got five. And he can score from all over the court. But, but Lillard at his best from mid-range. He deserves extra special attention from the defense in that in-between area. But sometimes, even then, that's not enough. And here's Lillard. He brings it up for the Portland Trailblazers. The pass to Nurkic. Batum against Covington. 
It's hauled in by Zubats. Zubats has got four rebounds now tonight. Oh, Leonard in position. Throws down the alley-oop slam. And boy, Kawhi is the perfect target. The big reach gets to the pass and the great hands on the catch. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. Beyond the leaning, you can see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. So difficult to stay planted, especially with all the motion around you. Annoying turnover. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. Some intimidation right away. Got to show those shooters you're going to be there all night long. Patterson, it's good on the putback. The activity level from Patterson is what makes him such an impact on the floor. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Clippers lead by three. From... Before the game, we talked with Damian Lillard. He had this to say when asked him. I know that when the main guy... Greg, he's willing to bear the brunt, and he's also looking out for others. Great leadership. His teammates seem to rally around that, and it's why every team he's on is a difficult out. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen so far from the Clippers, guys. What are your thoughts? Yeah, in that first period, they look to push in transition at every opportunity. That's their mindset. Attack, attack, and attack some more. You're not going to beat them playing soft. Here are the five the Clippers have to start the second. They've got Patrick Patterson, Luke Kennard out there with Marcus Morris. That's Rajon Rondo, and it's man in at the shooting guard. At the top of the key, Rondo. Lock at six. Shoots over Lillard. Rondo can't get it to go. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. That one good for two. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Kevin, good evening. Well, last season, the Blazers were beset by injuries, and they fell short of their goals. Their star Damian Lillard said, once we're in a better position, I want people to remember how I responded when things didn't go my way. But they know my character is true. Kevin, we know that Dame grew up in Oakland, a place where overcoming adversity was ingrained. Back to you. Thank you, D.A. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. This is a close-knit group. They feed off one another's energy. Beautiful location on the pass, as usual. Led his man perfectly. Lillard misses. It's amazing. All night, he's been out of sync on the offensive end. Yet, they continue to lead. Here's Kennard. Portland grabs the miss. Cantor's got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Jones. That's in there. Anthony with the assist. Jones has got the lead up to three now for the Trailblazers. That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. Rondo finds Patterson. Rondo is out there to distribute the ball. He is a master at finding the open man. Trailblazers have gone four of six from the field here in the second. Lillard with no one around. Again, the Trailblazers score. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. Patterson passes to Rondo. Here's Mann. Pass to Kennard. Now here's Patterson. Back to Kennard. And here's Morris for three. He can't get that one. Now Portland takes it the other way. Anthony kicks to Lilly. I'm deep. Morris with the rebound. You know what, though? They keep calling his number despite the difficult quarter he's had. And stolen by Lilly. Jacks up a three. Lillard again missing. In this first half, he has really fallen in love with the three. So far, not paying dividends. Knocked away and stolen by Lillard. 
And here we go with Anthony running it up the court. Here's Jones. Morris with the rebound. Clippers trail by three. Patterson dishes to Rondo. Back to Patterson. That's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. Patterson's got six here in this quarter. Patterson is so active and efficient with his movements inside. Lillard fires away from way outside. Out to Anthony. Lillard outside. Drills it from outside. Lillard's got 10 points. As the game has gone along, they've gotten more and more aggressive on the backboard. And the foul is called. He intentionally grabbed him there for some reason. I don't know. Kevin and Kevin, all I can think of is that he's trying to slow the game down a little bit. Right. That's a stretch, though. Definitely a strange move on his part. And the Clippers making a change here. Leonard's checked in. Portland leading by four. Pass to Anthony. Tried to find Cantor. Gets it to him. Jones. No one around him. That one doesn't go. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the strike. Shooting one. Shut out in the first quarter. He's heating up now. I like the aggressiveness. The Trailblazers shooting their first free throw of the contest. And when you look at their numbers from a season ago, 80% as a unit, that's something you'll be happy with. A floater. Good on that shot, and with that, the Trailblazer lead is cut down to just four points with a bucket from Paul George. Great hustle by Paul, using his speed in the open court, and then, of course, he's an excellent finisher. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Trailblazers out in front, leading by four. It's... Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And we hope you enjoy the first quarter for the Trailblazers was fairly even. They didn't get more than a one possession lead. In and in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. You have to like what we've seen so far from Damian Lillard. Well, he left his mark on that first half with his quick hands. Great sense of timing to pile up the steals. Well, if you want to get into your offense quickly before the defense can set up, creating turnovers is a great way to do it. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. On the floor for Portland, Ennis Cantor is out there with McCollum. Then there's Norman Powell. Then it's Robert Covington, and it's Nurkic in at the five down low. Cantor, the pass to Nurkic. And here again, Los Angeles in transition. Up the court they go. And the crisp passing yes. has opened things up for them offensively. And so it's McCollum. He'll bring it up for the Portland Trailblazers. The lead is two. Rager, the all-time assist leader for the Big West Conference in that frame. Talk about some of the traits that make for a, for a good origin, a good point, a good facility. Yeah, I mean, listen, you, you have to be a leader because that's what the position calls for. Uh, unselfishness, instincts, that stuff matters. But ultimately, your, play, your teammates got to feel like you play for them. Uh, and, and that's when you have a team, a chance as a team to, to be special. I'm assuming you've always been like that. Am I correct? No, that oh, is not really? true. Wow. I evolved into a leader. In all seriousness, wow. you know, you, I, I think it, some guys are natural. Others, like myself, had to evolve into it. Finally, they get one to drop. That's one of their first four here in the third. The Clippers have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Outside Batum. Outside Leonard for the lead. And that one goes out of bounds. Touched by Zubac. Yeah, just not on the same page. Unfortunate, wasted possession. Lillard's checked in for the Trailblazers. Powell against Leonard. 
Powell the pass to Nurkic and finish off by Nurkic. And uses balance along with fluidity to finish at the rim. Nurkic is a unique big. McCollum against George. And it's Portland with the rebound. Powell inside. Two free throws coming up and they call the shooting foul. The Trailblazers shooting their second and third free throws tonight. At the line for your Trailblazers, Norman Powell. And he makes the first. And the Clippers making a switch here. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. I'll tell you, he doesn't give points away. Excellent job from the line. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Trailblazers leading by six. And then Lillard sends it in. Finding a little rhythm here that they have to like where they're at. They're playing well. They're building momentum. This is how they can turn a small lead into a big one. The drive by Jackson. To halt the run. And the layup is good. Jackson's got four points now in the quarter. The developing field Reggie Jackson has for scoring inside, playing much more under control these days. Here's Lillard. McCollum outside. From downtown, it's hauled in by Los Angeles. Zubats has got seven rebounds in the game. And the wide open shot from Morris. Off target with his three. The Trailblazers have gone three of seven on field goal attempts here in the second half. And the dunk by Covington. Yeah, quick thinking wins Dame assist. Finds the open man and the ball instantly there for the finish. Leonard looking around. All oh, the officials are all over that one. The Clippers shooting their first free throws of the game. And last season, as a team, they knocked down 79% of their free throws. So those are numbers you'll be happy with. The NBA champion, finals MVP, Kawhi has done a lot in a short time. So Portland ends up going with the new group. Here's Simons. No points in the game yet for him. The feed to Anthony. Count it. Anthony's got the lead up to eight now for the Trailblazers. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Outside Rondo. Basket counts. The craftiness of Rondo makes him a tough cover in pick and roll sets. Just when you think he's going to pass, he'll surprise you with the shot. Here's Simons. He's covered by Rondo. Here's Giles. Lays it up and banks it in. Giles has got the lead. Back up to eight now for the Trailblazers. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Here's Leonard. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. Good job inviting contact. The closer Leonard gets to the rim, the more dangerous he becomes. That free throw good from Leonard. Both free throws good from Kawhi Leonard. Trailblazers leading by six. Here's Simons. Just three on the clock, and Anthony with the lay-in. And the Trailblazers lead by eight. And love the muscle Anthony brings to the three spot. Takes pride in outworking everyone when he's that deep inside. And, and let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. And how about the big fella here showing us he's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. Let me tell you, when you can run offense through your bigs, you give the defense just another thing it has to try and take away. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. And the Clippers, looking at who they've got, Kawhi Leonard is out there with Batum. 
And it's Rajon Rondo. Then it's Paul George. And it's Patterson in at the five, patrolling the paint. Excellent concentration from Paul George, overwhelming the aggressive defense with his strength and determination. Lillard from outside. Here's Cantor. Jones kicks to Lillard. And a miss there on the triple. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. He goes up strong, but he is met with resistance. I think that surprised him a little bit. Colton with and without the ball. McCollum is a tremendous spot-up shooter. Rondo against Jones. A three from Leonard. And it's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. Rondo's got his fourth assist in this one. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. Batum with the steal. And pushing it up, here's the Clippers. Rondo looking around. And George kicks to Rondo. A three-pointer, no good. Portland leading by five. Lillard from deep three-point land. The quick look, no good that time. But still, eventually, you got to feel like he'll start knocking those down again. Kept alive. The shot by George, no good. And so it's McCollum with it. He brings it up for the trailblazer. And it's Anthony with the jam. And Melo, a skilled shooter. If he gets a clean look, you expect him to make it. Outside, George from deep three-point range. And it's George again missing. He has gone ice cold this quarter. Obviously not helping their calls. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. It goes on C.J. McCulloch. You have to like the way Patterson can bait defenders into a foul. Very crafty. And he knocks down the first one. So for the Trailblazers, Yusuf Nurkic. He's checked in for Ennis Kanter. Robert Covington comes in for Carmelo Anthony. And Norman Powell subbed in for Derek Jones. And a switch here also for the Clippers. Zubox is checked in for Rajon Rondo. And a deep three from Lillard. The long distance three is buried. Lillard's got the lead up to eight now for the Trailblazers. The Clippers have gone two of seven from the field in what's been a cold start to the fourth quarter for them. Powell against Leonard. And an intentional foul right there. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Los Angeles making a switch here. Jackson's checked in. Short. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's going to be on Yusuf Nurkic. The rare guy who can do everything at both ends. Paul George gives you a chance to win every night. First one falls for him. Both shots good from the strike. Nice work there. This is a point in the game where if you get a chance to close the gap, you've got to make the most of it. Lillard against Jackson. Lets it fly. A shot missing. And the Clippers will come the other way. And the call will be against Yusuf Nurkic. That's his third foul of the game. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Leonard on the wing. 153 left to play in the final quarter. Can't hit from in close. Portland leading by six. And oh, here we go. Lillard's got the fast break chance. And another three for Portland. And we've seen Lillard hit that shot before. He has no fear when it comes to the deep three. George with the ball. Now guarded by Nurkic. The shot's good. And that pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Jackson against Lillard. Here's McCollum. For the three. Batum grabs the miss. Batum's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. From 
From deep, George tips it up, controls the rebound, and puts it back up and in. Now just a five-point trailblazer lead. Oh, and a nice job of turning that miss into two points on the tip end. Hustle points, I believe they call them. Hustle points right there. And here's McCullum for three. That shot, no good. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Outside for Jackson. Outside, George. It drops. And he has brought them to within two points. And such a clutch shooter. I mean, he lives with a big shot. And when he's rolling like this, watch out. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Now, here's Lillard. Six on the shot clock. 14 feet away. The Clippers grab the miss. George looking over the floor. Ends with a big win by Cortland in a tight game. David, thank you as always. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast.
The Borough of Bro Hi everyone, greetings from 2K Sports. And let's check out the injury report. Five players unavailable tonight. Five players unavailable tonight. A lot of minutes and shots to go around. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. Jackson is out there with Paul George. Then it's Ivica Zuba. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. And it's Batum in at the fourth. And looking at the Nets, we've got Harden. Green is out there with Harris. Then it's Jordan, and it's Irving in at the two-guard spot. Well, you can be the judge of if it's fair or not, but Kyrie Irving has earned himself the reputation of being moody, to say the least. Yeah, and you know, sometimes that sword cuts both ways. Sometimes it's the player, sometimes it's the media, and the media's perception. It's a combination of the two. Um, clearly, Kyrie can sometimes go off on tangents and come from left field in interviews. I mean, he's not the only player present or past that's been guilty of that. Uh, one thing you can't deny, though, is this guy loves the game. And um, it's a matter of continuing to mature and grow as a leader. So I say give him more time, and he'll refine himself in that area. Harden, sweet little floater. 
incredible control on that floater. Harden is fantastic at putting just the right amount of touch on these very difficult and delicate shots. Now, here is George. Leonard, the pass to Zubats. Inside, George finds Zubats. Takes it out to Leonard. Six to shoot. George, with no one around, misses the three. And it's Harden with the ball for the Nets. Irving with the ball. Harden now by Jackson. And Harden with the stop. Now, you can't sleep on this guy's finishing ability. He loves getting room to throw it down on you. And he'll put you in a poster if you let him. Now, here is George. He dishes it to Batum. High post, Zubats. And the pass to Batum. Over Green. And George kicks to Leonard. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. Boy, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. No good from Irving. Clippers have gone just one of four to get this game started. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And when George has the ball in a comfortable spot, he's looking to draw the foul, feeling there's nobody that can stay with him. Marcus Aldridge has checked in for Brooklyn. And good on the second, so he makes them both. He's as solid as it gets from the line. I mean, give him the opportunity. He's cashing in on those. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Harden bounce pass. And Irving gets it to go on the assist by Harden. Irving's got his second bucket. Greg, 11 years for you in the NBA, you had to have some favorite players that you played besides and with. You know, it's a great call, and, and there were a ton of them. Uh, a, a few guys, though, Wilson. So Gary Payton, I got a, a chance to play with Gary for a year and have known him when we, when we used to go at it in high school. And, and it's really about his personality. This is a guy that constant chatter, practice on the court. That's what fed his confidence. Charles Oakley, another guy, he, he would run through a wall or through you to win a game. And then Scotty Pippen later in my career, just a winner and somebody who I competed against for many years but didn't have any opportunity to play with up close. Uh, I got a, a greater appreciation for his skill set. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And early in the game, a defensive play like that goes a long way, establishing the attitude you want. Now here's Rondo. Patterson, great positioning on the putback. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. Pass to Claxton on the wing, Harris. A floater, and there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. There's the foul against the Clippers. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And really, the line a season ago was just a battle for him. Just about a 72% free throw shooter. Blake Griffin, he's checked in for LaMarcus Aldridge. And stolen by Harris. Oh, and a fast break for the Nets. Rondo against Irving. That shot missing. So the Clippers will take it the other way. Here's Rondo. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. You know, I still think um, Rondo is a great role player in the league. He knows he's out there to distribute the ball and provide leadership on the floor. And he does both really well. And Clark, although he's not the force he once was on the floor, Rajon Rondo still can give you strong minutes in bursts. Greg, I tell you what, I love watching this guy work. I know his double-digit assist days are long in his rearview mirror, but this dude still knows how to run a team, and he is ideal for leading your second unit because he's an orchestrator, a facilitator, a playmaker, and guys love playing with him. You can just feel how guys enjoy playing with Rondo running the show. Now Harris, Rondo missing on the three. Here's Irving. Outside for Griffin. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Shot clock at six. Harris passes to Claxton. 
And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Rondo against Harden. The drive by Rondo. He hits it from nine. You know, with Rondo's tenure in the league, he's been around now for over a decade and a half. He continues to give you flashes of that burst. Here's Harden. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. Nets lead by one. And we'll be back with... Earlier tonight, we spoke with Paul George about how they've integrated... Everybody has a chip on their shoulder. Break that last point is key. This team plays lockdown defense. And that's a big part of their identity. Most teams talk about being well-balanced. This team lives it. And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Nets. Guys, their penetration has been outstanding. I mean, it's actually been great. They're really finding those holes in the defense. Yeah, also something I like out of them so far, they're throwing their bodies around in the paint, and, and the physicality is taking its toll. So for the Clippers right now, they've got Kennard. Patrick Patterson is out there with Morris. That's Rajon Rondo, and it's Mann in at the two. You know, Griffin is so sure of himself when he shoots it. That confidence really goes a long way. Pass to Harden, and here comes Harden, leading the fast break. Griffin dishes to Harris, passes it to Jordan. And it's good, two points. Jordan's got the lead up to five now for Brooklyn. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. And how? I mean, they're taking this defense to task, taking them to school. Every one of their last ten points have come in the paint. To the left wing. Patterson inside, guarded by Jordan. In transition, here come the Nets. Harden's got the ball, and the jam by Harden. We know DeAndre Jordan is a shot blocker, but that time, he got out and got a steal on the defensive end. Rondo with it, picked up by Brown. Here's Mann. Los Angeles with another miss. I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Well, guys, they need to do something to reduce this deficit. We'll see if that's the answer. And stolen by Jordan. Score the basket, his second of two attempts. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. And the Clippers have possession. Nothing offensively yet from them in the second quarter. Here's Rondo. And it's blocked by Jordan. Hey, get that weak stuff out of here. Take it home. Jordan is fantastic at rejecting those kinds of shots. Lynette's on offense. Good momentum. Eight straight points. Harden gets the bucket. Yeah, they are really starting to push it now. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. And it's kind of the running joke when you think of James Harden. Often maligned for his lack of effort defensively, but Quite honestly, I, I thought he improved a great deal a season ago. And, you know, Greg, I observed the same thing. His overall commitment was better. And not just steals and blocks either. I'm just talking about his awareness, his commitment to that end of the floor. It was a focal point. If he continues on that track, I think he's going to make an impact at that end as well. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. You know, Greg, you probably know as well as anyone, what was it like going up against the Bulls in the ninth? You know, it's weird to say, but in a lot of ways, they were, we were a lot like they were. Uh, Hall of Fame talent at the coach, uh, a defensive-minded team, but the one difference was, you know, the Bulls had that guy that wore that number 23. I think I'd say that might have been the one difference. And Harden wide open. He shoots. Knocks down the three ball. Harden's got nine points now in the quarter. He just exudes a love of the game, guys. You can see it in everything he does. This guy lives and breathes the game. 
here's George, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Well, you really have to like how George uses his body effectively down low there. I mean, the defense pretty much has no choice but to foul him in that situation. We are having a lot of success from the line here in the second quarter. The Nets making a switch here. Claxton's checked in. Harden outside. Now the pass to Irving. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Irving's got nine. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And don't go. Oh. Yes, sir. Come on. Bring it. And you know what? For me, these dunks show exactly how great an athlete George is. I mean, sometimes you're surprised that the basket doesn't come down with the force he punches it with. Harden against Rondo. Harden's shot is good. And, and when you get this kind of shooting from him, 100% from the field, they're going to be tough to beat. Harden against George. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Dishes a two platoon. Six on the shot clock. Stolen by Harden. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Irving. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. And it's Batum with the ball, bringing it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. 15-point game. And getting to the line and hitting your free throws, a, a good way to get back into the game. It stops the clock and it extends the game and allows you the opportunity to set your defense. They've been perfect from the line so far here in the second quarter. All oh, three throws good from Kawhi Leonard. You know, when he was in high school in California, Kawhi won the state's Mr. Basketball Award. And you look at the list of guys who've won that award over the years. It oh, oh, my man. goodness. Oh, yeah. What a play. And Harden, an absolutely vicious dunker. Terrific at bouncing towards the rim for the epic throwdown. That'll do it for the first half. Look what ahead. Up by five. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Jump. James Harden led the way in the first half. He ended up with 17 points, two assists, and one steal. And that's a... And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. An exceptional performance so far from James Harden. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. Kyrie Irving is out there with Harden. Then it's Green. Then it's Jordan. And it's Harris in at the small forward. So that's the lineup for Brooklyn. Green, the pass to Harris. Batum with the steal. And now here's Batum, the fast break opportunity. He kicks it to Jackson. Offensive rebound. Yeah, you can't forget about the long arms of Batum. I mean, I want to see him be more active on the offensive glass because he's capable. Harden surveying the D. Here's Irving. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Irving's got 11 points. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Pretty clear. It's smash mouth basketball. Pound that thing inside. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alder. Hey, Kevin, thanks. Since the Nets acquired Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant, the franchise has gone from being an up-and-comer to a potential powerhouse in the East. That's necessitated changes on the bench and on the court. And that's about it to new veterans. The time is now for Brooklyn to stand up and make its move in the East. Kevin, back to you. Well, we'll see how they do. David, thank you. Looking at who's out there now for the Nets. Blake Griffin comes in for DeAndre Jordan. And it's Brown in for James Harden. Tell you what, he has been feeling it, guys. And the best game plan right now, it's elementary. Just keep feeding him. Let him eat. He lobs it up. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. 
Green dishes to Griffin. The kick out to Irving. Shoots from the high post. Again, the Nets for two. So far, so good to begin this half. They're three for three. Perfect. George passes to Leonard. Here's Zubats, and it goes out of bounds. That one off Harris. And he made the right read on that play, but just couldn't secure the steal. You know, fellas, one second quicker, and that's going the other way. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for Brooklyn. Offensive rebound, pass to man. A second chance effort. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. And every once in a while, he'll show up and give you some great moves around the hoop. Nets leading by 17. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Irving looking for an opening. Down to five on the shot clock. Irving doing a nice job there being creative and efficient with that beautiful assist. Clippers trail by 19. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Outside Jackson. To the right side. Patterson finds Leonard. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. What strength from Leonard there. Not allowing the defense to get the best of it. Little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Now, here is Irving. 15 points in the game. The rebound by Patterson. The Clippers have gone 3 of 8 so far in the third quarter, looking to lock in that rhythm. And Morris throws it down. And hard to decide which was better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Well, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley -oop. Tell you what, you wouldn't know they're the team trailing when they're able to pull off plays like that. Irving passes to Claxton. Right side, Griffin. Harris with it. Leonard picks him up. Harris dishes to Griffin. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. One of the things you've got to admire and respect about him is his aggressiveness at the offensive end. Always in attack mode. Outside Irving. He watches it go through the hoop for his eighth make. Now eight for 14. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Jackson with it. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. And they pick up two. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point-blank range. Can't happen. A shot's good from Irving. Hey, the skills of Kyrie are obvious, but what isn't so obvious is his underestimated strength. The drive by Jackson. Misses the lane. And so it's Brooklyn, riding a 15-point lead at the end of the quarter. What a defensive effort they put on Kawhi Leonard. It's rare to... Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game. And it's presented, as always, by State Farm. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Served him up a tasty room service dime right there, boy. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Taking a look at Los Angeles, Ivica Zubac is out there with Batum. Then there's Reggie Jackson. Then it's Paul George. And it's Rondo in at the point guard position. And he makes that one. Jordan's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for the Nets. Outside Rondo. And they double up Rondo. Zubac, that's good. Well, the passion in New York is a pro sports city. Greg is unquestioned. Talk about the pros and cons, though, of being a player in New York. 
You know, the, the opportunity personally prof and, and professionally is, is immense, no doubt about it, but so is the media scrutiny. It, it can be very intense, and the fanaticism does make it hard to live a normal existence, and I think the guys who embrace being in a city like New York are the ones that typically are able to perform at the highest level. So you can either thrive because of it or wilt because of it, just kind of what your personal preference is. You call it, partner, and I have seen it happen both ways. Oh, I bet. Harden against Jackson. Harden outside, pass to Green. Back to Harden. Just five to shoot. Well, that jump shot's a thing of beauty coming from Harden. I think some of it is the fact that his mechanics are good, but left-handed shooters sometimes just look sweeter than right-handed shooters. Amazing how many ways he has to score. And there's a whistle that's going to go on James Harden. That is his first foul of the game. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. Here's George. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. Got a piece of it. Four on the clock. And out of bounds as the Nets gain possession. Joe Harris has checked in for LaMarcus Aldridge. Joe Harris. Nets leading by 15. Harden outside. Kicks it to Green. Harden outside over Jackson. Harden gets the bucket. Harden's got 21 in the game. I've got a word for Harden. It's indefatigable. Say that real fast, which basically means he's tireless. Even when he's carrying the whole offense, he's got great energy and stamina. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. And now the fast break. George with the ball. It's stolen by Green. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. And Harris wide open. He shoots. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle steps for the Nets. Defensively, they played with a lot of energy, and the steals we've seen are a result of that aggressiveness. And guys, the thing that jumps out at me is their block shots. I mean, they're playing up on the shooters tightly, and then they're sending them back, and I mean, putting those shots in reverse, all in a clear, good day's work. To the middle. Green passes to Jordan. Stolen by George. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. And George with the stuff. Boy, George has major hops. I mean, this guy just gets up big time for these throwdowns. Harden kicks to Irving. A step back shot here. Batum grabs the miss. And it's Batum with the ball, bringing it up for the Clippers. A trail by 16. And this is what they wanted. I mean, to announce their presence in this matchup with authority. Very decisive. It can definitely be considered a statement win for Brooklyn. You know, a team can have a great shooting night without getting a lot of assists, but tonight they had both. Yeah, and listen, you only get the assist if the guy you give it to makes the shot. So a lot of assists will up your field goal percentage, but this is a great team effort by everyone. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for James Harden. Well, the defense just couldn't figure him out, and he continued to put it to him. And the wide open shot from Green. And the Nets miss again. And here are the Clippers. A 12 point game. And Leonard gets it to go. <laughs> it's always great to get into a rhythm, but do it when it matters. Now they're playing with urgency, huh? He could have done it much earlier before the game was out of reach. Six second difference between the shot and game clock. Left side, Harris launches it. 
Shot clock at five. Irving. And again, no good by Brooklyn. Leonard attacking. The lead now cut to single digits. Not afraid to get physical there. Leonard makes the shot in spite of the contact. No good. And so it's Brooklyn with the win. Even early. All right, David, thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now.
Now it's in. Hey, Kevin. Giroux. Terrific. David, thanks. And a couple of injuries among their reserves. I expect their starters guys will be ready to do whatever's needed. Two players injured. One of their stars out. Something they'll have to dig deep to overcome. Now the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. Dante DiVincenzo. He's out there with Holiday. And it's Lopez in its center. And for Los Angeles, Paul George is out there with Jackson. Then it's Ivica Zubats. Then there's Batum. And it's Leonard in at the three, the small forward. And so the Los Angeles Clippers get the first points of the ballgame. The shot by Holiday, no good. And in a player empowerment era, no greater power move than Kawhi Leonard's last year. Fresh off a finals MVP with the Raptors, he signed with his hometown Clippers and compelled a trade for Paul George. Think about that 14 month run where Kawhi Leonard made his way to Toronto a team that was on the cusp for many seasons goes there wins the MVP and the championship for the Raptors and then ends up in his hometown of Los Angeles to try to do the same for the Clippers. Now that's getting it done and writing your own story just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. Middleton outside. Takes a three. It's held in by Zubat. And I thought that was going to drop. It looks good from here. And George gets it to go. Now I always talk about the first two steps in transition and Paul George out quick and decisively that time. Here's onto to oh, hammering it in. Oh, I would love to see Giannis in the dunk contest. Wouldn't that be sweet? Outside Jackson. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. Leonard attacking. And it's denied. And he's able to get it back. Batum wide open. He fired. Nailed from three-point land. Well, when you get into a system, your first system in the league where you share the ball... Why Leonard keeping his head up and finding the open man. Here's Giannis. And onto Takumbo slams it in. I tell you what, you better watch out, fellas. He is on fire here today. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. George from deep three-point land. Milwaukee with the rebound. Now here is Holiday. No doubt, Greg, you were known being a gritty, in-your-face defender. And when you think of the most hard-nosed point guards in the NBA today, who comes to mind? For me, I think Chris Paul, I, I go first because this guy, one, he's a phenomenal two-way player. He'll do whatever it takes to win, if, even if that means pushing the envelope a little bit. Pat Beverly is another guy, yes. just a flat-out bulldog. Marcus Smart, I think, falls into that category. Again, it's not always about being the most talented, but if you bring an edge about you, that really permeates throughout your team. So those are some guys. Drew Holiday is another guy I throw mm -hmm. into that mix as well. Yeah, they all lock in. You're right. Middleton, a, a good scorer, and good scorers can use the pump fake to their advantage. This is his first free throw of the game, and it's a completely new group for Los Angeles. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. P.J. Tucker comes in for Antetokounmpo. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Bryn Forbes in for Drew Holiday. Now here's Rondo Morris outside. Some nice passing here by Los Angeles. And again, no good by the Clippers. Bucks have gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. Pass to Connaughton. To the paint. There's the killer two-handed slam. Man, can you always depend on him or what to lead you to the right place with that pass? Money. And here's Rondo. Fifty-two seconds left to play here in the first. Six to shoot. Here's Morris. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance. And here we go with the coach's challenge. Not surprised in a competitive game like this. And he's disputing the personal foul call. 
And this is the time now where the officials can review in closer detail what constituted the original personal foul. Getting a different angle can sometimes make it a lot easier to determine. Greg, indeed, and the one thing with replay review is that when you see the slow motion replays, you really get a new appreciation for just the immense speed at which these players are moving Take a break. Take a and break. how fast the action really Please is stop. and and how hard it can be sometimes you know Greg to, to make the right call and so the word is in they've decided that the call stands as it was made on the floor and you know even if a coach still feels this wasn't the right call you got to acknowledge the effort being put in to review it the double checking and the game continues on here is Forbes Here's Connaughton, outside Portis, back to Connaughton. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. 16 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Rondo's shot is off. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. They'll have a hard time shaking that one off. Perfect position, plenty of space. Just plank it. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Bucks lead by three. We'll be back shortly live from Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles. And recently, up. I like to stay locked in to the game. Greg, as you always say, different guys intimidate in, in different ways. And when you have his level of lift, athleticism, and skill, you don't need to say a word. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far on the scoreboard. And what stands out to you from the Bucks in this one? Stingy on the defensive end in that first quarter. They were just getting up into people. Just a, a great job, really, of making the game ugly, trying to muck it up a little bit out there. Luke Kennard out there with Marcus Morris. That's Rajon Rondo. Then there's Patrick Patterson, and it's Mann in a two-guard. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. And the wide-open shot from Morris. No good from outside. Bucks leading by five. And Marcus Morris has raised some eyebrows in the last couple years, just being a much more efficient scorer. Two points. That one goes. Tucker's got his first points in this one. And, Kevin, they dialed up their activity this quarter. We're seeing them convert a lot of those second-chance opportunities. Here's Rondo. Shoots over Portis. Rondo can't get it to go. And last season, Marcus Morris's name, one of the hottest on the trade market. Yeah, there's a lot going on at Marcus Morrison's offseason a year ago. A lot of contenders looking to add him to the roster. Handshake deal with the Spurs, switched to the Knicks, and then eventually traded to the Clippers. So grab your musical chair and try to find a seat. And here's Rondo after the made shot from Bobby Portis. And again, no good by the Clippers. Target there that would have pushed the lead to double digits. And Kennard wide open. He shoots, sinks the three pointer. Kennard's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Bucks leading by six. Here is Forbes. He's still scoreless so far in this one. In low. And no good that time. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. And here we go with Morris running it up the court. And Portis throws it down. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. And we say it time and time again, so I'll repeat it. Have to be careful with the ball, or this is what happens. Here's Morris following the bucket by the Bucks. Here's Rondo. Here's Patterson. Rebounded by the Bucks. Portis has got rebound number five here tonight. Takes the three. They grab their own miss. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. 
Tucker's got the lead up to 10 now for the Bucks. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. Now here's Rondo. He's covered closely. The Bucks have gone 5 of 11 from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. Tucker, great positioning on the putback. And now a 12-point Milwaukee lead. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in quote. Gennard against Middleton. Gennard with the ball. And it's good for two. Gennard's got five now. And that's what he does. I mean, he is a bucket hitter. To the wing right side. Here's Tucker. No good on the triple. For Los Angeles, they've gone only two of seven from the field since the second quarter got underway. Here's Morris. Out to the right wing. Kennard for three. Milwaukee with the rebound. Outside Portis. Pass to Forbes. Fires for three. The Bucks getting another chance here. Now Tucker. He has six. Middleton for three. Cans it from downtown. Five points in the game. Well, Middleton hovers around that 40% mark from downtown in his career. It's a good-looking shot there. Now here's Rondo. He's guarded close. Passes it to Mann. Second chance shot. Got a hand on it. And now the fast break. Middleton with the ball. Outside Rondo. And so it's Milwaukee. 13. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson, a competitive matchup for Milwaukee in the first quarter. They were always within striking distance. Five points was their biggest deficit. The second quarter got a lot more exciting. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take it down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my... And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Greg, not all drafts are the same in terms of talent, but 2019 was a year to remember. No doubt about it. I mean, transcendent talent at the top. You think of Zion and, and Ja, both could be future league MVPs. And the irony is that those two guys were teammates in high school. Go figure. Yeah, go figure is right. And Milwaukee, looking at who they've got. Giannis is the four with Lopez the five. Holiday out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Middleton in at the small forward. And Batum kicks to Leonard. The putback. It's good on the putback. Oh, big time putback there. What a great motor on this guy. There is no one who goes after those rebounds harder. And about a minute of action so far in the third quarter. The pass to DiVincenzo. They get it back. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And the Bucks lead by 15. It's been their Achilles heel defensively. They just have not been able to control that backboard. Nobody near George. The 19-footer is on the money. George has got his second best. Well, when Paul George has that kind of length and then has the high release point that he does, very few people are going to get to it to block a mid-range jumper like that. Now here is Holiday. Near the three-point line, it's DiVincenzo. That shot is off. That might not be the shot they want him taking, even with the D backing off. And it's sent back by Lopez. Oh, that's out of there. Not a high riser, but Lopez using his frame, a smart block, if you will. 
And he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. Now here is Holiday. Pass to DiVincenzo. Good on the three-point shot. DiVincenzo's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Clippers trail by 14. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And the versatility of Paul George's game, the elite defense and rebounding, steals and deflections. You think about Paul George moving to several teams, yet still having the impact on both ends of the floor. I think that is a telltale sign that you have an elite talent in Paul George. Holiday with the three. It's held in by Zubats. Zubats has got rebound number five here tonight. Leonard, the pass to Batum. Back to Leonard. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. And again, no good by the Clippers. Well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone, but they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the defense. The kick out to Hunter Kumbo. Down low, here's Lopez. Just five on the clock. Milwaukee needs to get off a shot here. Onto the Kumbo, no good. Probably not the shot that was drawn up for that possession, but you can't pass it up and you can't knock it down. Platoon passes through Leonard. Here's Jackson with the three. Los Angeles with another miss. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. DiVincenzo gets the bucket. Yep, that's a great look from Giannis there. Clippers trail by 14. And George, here we go. Here's Zubats. That falls. Nice feed that time from George. Zubats has got four points now in the quarter. Even though they're still trailing, he continues to be lights out from the field. What a competitor. And here's Holiday. And uh, 101 left in the third. Lopez, no luck. And it's Batum with the ball, bringing it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Sweet finish from Paul George there. I like to see him get up to the rim like that. Bucks leading by 10. Holiday dishes to Lopez. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Banked in off the glass. Giannis has got six. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. Yeah, feels like Christmas right now, just gift-wrapping points. Now here's Jackson. And it's sent back by Lopez. And it's on a bounce to the Clippers as the Clippers retain possession. Morris is checked in for the Clippers. Hondo comes in for Reggie Jackson. The box also with the sub. Connaughton's checked in. Hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Outside Leonard. It's George on the wing. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Leonard's got three assists in the game. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get shots in the paint, and now they are scoring with ease. Right back after this break. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Clippers trail by 12. Rajon Rondo is out there with Paul George. Then there's Patrick Patterson. Then it's Marcus Morris. And it's Zubats in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. Another shot. And here's Morris for three. And the three ball is good. And this is in Morris's wheelhouse right here. Extremely fluid with the catch and release. Pass to Connaughton. Here's Lopez. Zubats defending. Lopez inside. Working on Zubats. Lopez, no luck. 
defense as tough as it comes right there. He's a hard man to deny when he gets the ball to the rim. And stolen by Patterson. Here's George. Lopez grabs the board. Shot didn't fall, but that play worked well to get a good look at the basket. Yeah, an efficient offensive possession. They found the look that they wanted, just didn't go in. George fires. Goes back up. He claims that one off the back iron, and down it falls. That's their third straight make off an assist. Now here is Holiday. Passes to Giannis. Trying to get open is DiVincenzo. And it's Giannis missing. Holiday against George. Morris. Outside for George. Lock at six. Beyond the arc. George missing again. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. And that one is good. George has got four points this quarter. And, and you like to see since the half now, he's finally starting to come around. Holiday finds DiVincenzo. Here's Connaughton. Back to DiVincenzo. And there's the pass to Holiday. Now DiVincenzo drills the three-pointer. And the Bucks lead by eight. How about Drew Holiday? Unselfish, team-first player. Love that from the guard position. Over to the wing. Pass to George. And stolen by DiVincenzo. And it's Anadokounmpo penetrated. And Giannis throws it down. That's attacking the rack. Attentacupo on the take and muscled his way in. Rondo looking over the floor. And George kicks to Rondo. Really uh, the right play defensively. If you can't block, force him to the line. First free throw is good, and that brings them within single digits. Yeah, when Rondo gets motivated, and we've seen that now for a good stretch, he's as valuable as it gets. Here's what the Clippers are going with right now. Nicholas Batum, he's checked in for Patterson. And Kawhi Leonard subbed in for Marcus Morris. Chris Middleton's checked in for the Bucks. Six on the shot clock. And here's Giannis from outside. Unable to get that one. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Hunter kicks to Zubac. Ball's knocked loose and stolen by DiVincenzo. Here's Holiday. Makes it off the glass. Fundamental play there from Lopez spotting the open man and then sending him the ball. Rondo against Holiday. Left side, Leonard. 104 left in the fourth quarter. Just five to shoot. And he banks in the layup. Oh, you see the touch inside from Leonard does a little bit of everything for this basketball team. Here's Holiday. Pass to DiVincenzo. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Here's Giannis. Batum grabs the miss. Well, he finds some space in that in-between gap there. Too bad he can't release that one on target. No problems knocking that one down. Now, Paul George ready to shoot as soon as he caught it. Quick release there. Anadokounmpo with the ball. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Great to see Atentacubo going strong inside. At times, the D has no choice but the foul. Him. And he misses the second one as well, so he is 0 for 2 that time. Misses the wing jail. And 
And so the Bucks take the win. They see. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that'll do it, folks.
and getting mentally prepared to compete. You see the focus. Good evening, Kevin. What a story. David, thank you. And a look at the status here of both teams, injured players, and who will not be in the lineup. And some uncertainty arises when both teams are missing players. Who is better able to weather the storm and take care of business? The starters for the Portland Trailblazers. Pairing up in the backcourt, Lillard and McCollum. Robert Covington out there with Nurkic, and it's Powell in at the small forward. And for the Clippers, they've got Ivica Zubac. Jackson is out there with Paul George. Then there's Kawhi Leonard, and it's Batum in at the four spot. And now running up the court, Leonard pushing it up. And there's Paul George on the assist from Leonard. Yeah, I love the court awareness from Kawhi there. Dependable at getting it to his uncovered teammates. Jackson against Lillard. Down low. Now Nurkic. It's Covington on the wing. Four on the shot clock. And it's blocked. And Batum has arms that go on forever and ever and ever, which is why he's so dangerous when it comes to shot block. And here's Leonard from three. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. His offensive skill set is off the charts. He has more than a few ways to punish. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. A three ball. Paul George with the steal. Zubox the pass to Jackson. Batum for three. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Passes it to Nurkic. Lillard way outside. The Trailblazers rebound. And that ends the struggle. You could feel the tensions in the building with each miss. Well, now that they have that monkey off their back, you know, hopefully they can settle down and execute. There's Jackson with the three. Back to Zubac. Some nice ball movement by the Clippers. Good on the triple. George has got five. That's what I'm talking about. That's a perfect four for four start for them. Now they're just getting all the shots they want. Lillard scanning the floor to the paint. Here's Nurkic. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. 
are evolving his, his game over time. That's what's going on. I mean, look, this demonstrates growth. Nurkic looking, willing to challenge himself with these shots. Now, here is George. Five points in the game. Pass to Zubats. Five on the clock. Here's George. Rebound by the Trailblazers. Oh, he found an open space for mid-range. Just maybe rushed his release a little bit. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Perfect example of how to run the break the right way and get a great look. Now, here's George. Greg, we have a league of many great... Oh, oh what a beautiful oh, play! What an intensity! Did you see that? Great and putting his explosive athleticism on full display there. George is capable of some highlight reel dunks. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Outside Batum, and he can't extend the lead to double digits. And oh, here we go. Lillard's got it, the fast break chance. Reggie Jackson with the rebound. He's forcing things a little bit in this quarter. Settling for shots that he'd be better off passing up. And it's George finishing it off. And a little verticality there from George. Not to mention the timing between those two on the alley-oop. Now here's Lillard. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Well, I'm surprised he's still out there. He's been invisible at the offensive end all game long. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. There's 49 seconds left to play in the first. Lillard against Jackson. And Damian Lillard with the jam. When Lillard goes to work in the screen and roll, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, you can pretty much pick your poison with him in these sets. Here's the pass to George. From outside, off the mark. Trailblazers trail by nine. And here's McCullum for three. Lillard. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And those are exactly the kinds of plays that can spark a team. Just solid work down in the paint. McCollum against George. And it's the Trailblazers on the break. McCollum finds Lillard. That falls. Ice feed that time from McCollum. Lillard's got six. Entering the NBA, I knew he needed to. Oh, we hit it! Oh, he did. hit it! What a great shot! Wow, what a shot! And listen to this place explode. And so it's the Los Angeles Clippers in the driver's seat, up eight points at the end of the quarter. Their shooting has been the big key. Their percentage from the field so far has been terrific. We'll return shortly. Damian Lillard told us before the game when asked how he stayed. I will be games. You know, I'm from. Well, some of the best stories in our league are about guys who struggle to get to where they are today. And I really hope the young guys out there are listening to this. You don't have to be a five star prospect to achieve your dreams. And for those. And here we go. Coach's challenge happening right now. This one in regards to the personal foul. Seeing if that was the right call. And I think when it comes to some of the more difficult calls to make, personal fouls can be tough. The action is so fast that it's really tough to catch everything in real time. The wonders of technology, Greg. We've seen replay reviews so effectively and involving the coaches by being able now. The challenge like this is something a lot of people have been hoping for. And so the word is in. They've decided that the call stands as it was made on the floor. And, you know, even if a coach still feels this wasn't the right call, you got to acknowledge the effort being put in to reviewing it. The double checking and the game continues on. Cantor's shot is off. Los Angeles leading by 10. Rondo passes to Mann. Latrey and Marcus Morris with the three. Morris has got himself on the board with three there. Well, yeah, Morris is just a tremendous shooter. He has great touch from beyond the arc. Here's McCollum. 
lays it up off the glass. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. Yeah, very aggressive. I mean, he takes on the challenge with no hesitation. Morris passes to Rondo. Pass to Patterson. On the wing, Morris. Shot clock at six. Over Anthony. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. A different look now for Portland. Harry Giles comes in for Anthony. And it's little in for McCullough. I'm glad we got to see the mobile one block once more. What a play. And those are plays that get you in front and keep you in front. Passes it to Giles. Here's Cantor. Takes it to Little. Trailblazers moving the ball around. Jones the pass to Giles. Back to Jones. Cantor trying to free himself up. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. They are just killing them on the interior. Kennard on the wing. A three. The shot, no good. So the Trailblazers will take it the other way. Jones snatched away. And now the Clippers on the break. Here's Mann. And Jones sends it back. Little with the ball. Addison's there. Nifty move. For three. But they get it back. Kicks it out to Jones. Cantor trying to free himself up. Jones, no luck. If you can't hit that one, the teammates are going to think twice about feeding you the next time. Open court basketball at his best. The D slow to catch up, and the assist leads him right to the bucket. To the wing on the left. Cantor, the pass to Simons. Stolen away. And now the fast break, Rondo with the ball. And it's Portland with the rebound. Cantor's got five rebounds tonight. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Clippers leading by 11. Rondo finds Morris. And Morris throws it down. Hey, look, if you're out there with Rondo, you find some open space, and he's going to find you. Pass to Simon. Little with the ball. Cantor inside. He's against Morris. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. Stolen by Cantor. To the middle. Here's Giles. Little with the ball. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Count that one. He's one of the best per-minute rebounders in the game. Cantor gets a lot of his points this way. The pass to man. 54 seconds left to play here in the half. He kicks to Patterson. On the wing, Morris. Six to shoot. No one near him. Man gets the bucket. Man's got the lead up to 13 outs for Los Angeles. Here's Simons. Pass to Little. There's 31 seconds left in the first half of the game. And the foul called on Marcus Morris. That's his first foul. A platoon swap here for the Clippers. An almost entirely new group here for Portland. Yusuf Nurkic, he's checked in for Cantor. Robert Covington comes in for Giles. Powell, he's checked in for Little. And Damian Lillard subbed in for Anferni Simon. And this will be the last possession of the quarter if they're patient. Yeah, no need to rush right here. Let the clock run a little, then execute your offense. Bangs home the trifecta. George has got 12 in the game. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, these days, so much emphasis on the perimeter game. But you can see why after that sequence. Headshot off. And so it's the Los Angeles Clippers. 13 points up at the end of the period. They've had...
All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the end. Paul George taking care of business in this one. He had 12 points and one rebound. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. It's been one outstanding game from George. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, slicing through the gaps in the defense. I mean, getting many of his buckets in the paint. Our second half of basketball and presented by Gatorade. That seems all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. Setting the floor for the Clippers. We've got Kawhi Leonard. Paul George is out there with Jackson. Then it's Ivica Zubac. And it's Batum in at the four-man position. They couldn't have asked for much more from him today. He's been a key force in their offense. Lillard dishes to McCollum. Back to Lillard. And the shot is long. Oh, that's one of the few times they'll get away with leaving him that wide open. The shot by George, wide open. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Leonard's got five assists in the game. Lillard, the pass to McCollum. Back to Lillard, looking to get back on track here. Rebound by the Clippers. Here's Leonard Covington with the steal. And now Portland on the break. Lillard with the ball. Portland moving the ball around. Powell kicks to Covington. And a deep three from Lillard. Sinks it. What range from outside. Wow. Lillard's got 12 points in the game. And so George will bring it up for the Clippers. Third quarter here, over a minute and a half into it. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. Uh, he's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. The basket looks as big as the ocean right now. I mean, that's how easy he's making it look. Here is Lillard. He's got 12. And another three for Portland. And they're going to have to pay closer attention to him beyond the arc. I mean, he's got two threes in this half, a total of three overall. Jackson against Lillard. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Norkic. Patterson, he's checked in for the Clippers. Morris comes in for Nicholas Batum. Carmelo Anthony, he's checked in for Portland. Morris outside. He dishes it to George. And then George with the jam. Punishing the rim there. When George makes up his mind, he's going to dunk it. There is not much you can do. A shot by Lillard wide open. And it's Lillard again missing. Los Angeles leading by 17. And it's George finishing it off. And he gives that rim a good tug on the way down. That's how you drive your point home right there. Lillard. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That's on Patrick Patterson. The outstanding quickness of Lillard. It keeps the D on their heels. He excels at drawing the foul on his drive. Anjan Rondo is checked in for the Clippers. And then for the Trailblazers, Cantor is checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. And it's Derek Jones in for McCollum. Here's George, and it's Portland with the rebound. Cantor's got seven rebounds in the game. Kicks it out to Lillard. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal that's screen. Uh, that's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor, not even close to being a legal screen. And, and he knows it, too. He tried to get away with it. Sometimes you do. That time he did Left side, Leonard. Passes it to George. And out of bounds as the Trailblazers gain possession. Yeah, with no defensive pressure at all, you've got to be able to make that exchange. And the Clippers making a switch here. Mann's checked in. And a deep three from Lillard. Here's Cantor. And it's good assisting on the play was Lillard. 
Cantor's got six. Embracing physical contact on the way up. Cantor seems to enjoy scoring right on the defense. Rondo passes to Morris. And Cantor pulls it down. Cantor's got eight rebounds in this game. Powell, no one around him. A three-pointer is right on target. Oh, this is the kind of ball movement they want to get from Cantor. Scan the floor, and when you spot the open man, get it to him. Outside, George dishes it to Patterson. Back to George. And Cantor pulls it down. Trailblazers trail by 13. Anthony kicks to Cantor. Powell for three. And the Trailblazers, another three. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Here's George. Can't get it to fall. And, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Portland's gotten 12 of their points from long range in the third quarter, going four of five shooting. Uncovered. Cantor, the pass to Simon. Bobs it up for Cantor, takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. And look at Cantor rise up. Good anticipation for the big man to go for the alley. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. You have to go to your best scores. I mean, it's a smart strategy. And so far, it's paying off in this game. Paul George, he's been the guy making things happen for Los Angeles. He ends up dropping in two from distance, making a difference from long range in this one. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. <laughs> no, that's quick decision making. You see a guy open, you can't hesitate. That, that, that's an outstanding play. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. And on the floor for Portland here in the fourth, Giles is out there with Little. Then it's Ennis Cantor. And it's Simons in at the point. When you pair Cantor's strong frame with, with the scores mentality, you get a guy that loves it. Tries from 10. Here's Zubats outside for Jackson. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. Kawhi Leonard's checked in for Rajon Rondo. And Portland with a change here, too. Covington's checked in. Here's Simons. Fires the three. Up again. And Cantor able to finish. Cantor's got four points in the quarter. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. And it's Leonard missing. And Simons has got the ball here for Portland. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. Right wing. Portland moving the ball around. Kicks to Covington. The Trailblazers need to get off a shot. Stolen by George. And pushing it up. Here's the Clippers. Here's Jackson. No good. Shot missing. And the Trailblazers going the other way. Pass to Giles. Back to Covington. Over to the left wing. It's tipped. Two on one as they jump out on the break. And foul call. Looks like they had a clear path to the basket. He'll be shooting two free throws. And they'll retain possession. The throw good. Paul George. And, and, you know, you go back to that horrific leg injury in Vegas back in 2014. And Paul George hasn't just made it back to the NBA. He's come back a better player. An almost entirely new group here for Portland. Zubac finds Batum. Outside Jackson. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. And the Clippers lead by 10. And how about the speed of Jackson's ball handling? Just leaving the D in the dust with his move. A three from McCollum. The Trailblazers rebound. Doesn't go for him. 
for Los Angeles. They've gone one of four since the end of the third quarter. And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X factor. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. A three from McCollum, and it's sent back by George. They recover it. Leonard with the steal. Here's Jackson. Finished off the break. Jackson's got four points now in the quarter. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. Oh, and they're showing no signs of letting up. I love this approach right now. They value each possession. Platoon passes to Leonard. From 15 feet away, another one falls for the Clippers. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Yeah, and it hasn't just been the offensive output. They're putting in the work at the defensive end as well. And here's McCollum for three. He hits hauled in by Los Angeles. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. It's something that happens to every team. You just have to ride it out, play your hardest, and live with the results. Three-pointer Lillard. The Trailblazers with a new shot clock. Here's Cantor. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. And just a little too lax with that possession. And it cost them. Yeah, you got to be locked in at all times. Their inconsistent play is a big reason why they're losing. A platoon swap here for the Clippers. Portland also making some changes. Harry Giles comes in for Cantor. And Robert Covington subbed in for McCullough. And, and guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them. Huge margin of victory for the Clippers. This is a game where the defense, you know, steals specifically, generating a lot of opportunities. And it created possessions for them, scoring opportunities, and that effort, a big part of what will be a nice victory here tonight. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Paul George. I mean, he had a plan for how to attack the D. He executed and never let up. Relentless offensive basketball. Powell for three. Doesn't go that time. Now the Clippers with it. They've got a 12-2 run in progress. And he lobs it up toward the rim. The Clippers again turning it over. And that's a gift if I've ever seen one. They've got to communicate much better out there. And Los Angeles with some changes. Fires from deep, that's and it looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet weren't set on that screen. Easy call. Uh, yeah, even a slight movement is going to catch a ref's eye. I mean, they're trained to focus on that. The shot by George, no good. From outside the arc, Portland, no good that time either. Jackson has the open look. Outside for George. Batum wide open. He fights. That falls. Nice feed that time from George. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. Now that's why they're in the driver's seat right now. Looking to put David, thank you as always. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Chris.
And the player introductions are wrapped up. The starting. It's the NBA on two. Hey, Dave. Kevin, thanks for. All right, David, thank you. Here are the starters for Brooklyn. We've got Jordan. Harden out there with Irving. And there's Green. And it's Harris in at the three spot. And for the Clippers, they've got Paul George. Ibiza Zubas is out there with Batum. And there's Jackson. And it's Leonard in at the three, the small forward. Now, here is Irving. Chalk up two there. And above the rim play, always captivating Steve. We should see a lot of that tonight. Hey, Kevin, I'm so excited. You know I play under the rim, so to get a chance to watch guys play well above, I am getting my popcorn ready. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. He gets it in there. Irving's got his second basket of the game. Out in transition, Kyrie finds his spot down the court, finishes the job. Right side, George. It's good. This is why you're trying to get him as many touches as possible. He's got the deck. Harden scanning the floor. And the jam by Harden. And a staple of Harden's attack. Sometimes it seems he's better finishing through contact on the drop. Jackson against Harden. And the basket by Jackson. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. Now, here is Harden. Gonna go that time. Some solid defense there from Jackson. Here's George. Rebounded by the Nets. Here is Harden. Good. And Harris gets the assist. And early on, they've been nearly perfect from the floor. Just the one miss here on their first five attempts. And the league's preeminent practitioner of the step back three, James Harden, is as good as it gets. And, you know, like the sky hook, an unguardable shot. And paired with his dribble drive, a two move torture chamber. Yep, it counts. Excellent pass, PG-13, keeping his eyes up, using his vision. Jackson against Harden. And the jam by Harden. Man, he sure can get off the floor. He's one of the best in the business, absolutely. And thanks to that step back, Harden already the all-time leader in unassisted three-point shots. And not to mention four-point plays. And up until recently, Teams built elaborate offenses to create their three-point looks. Harden the first to do it one-on-one -on -one with volume and efficiency. Here's Irving. Again, the Nets for two. A difficult guarding Kyrie. He's comfortable from any range and willing to take what the defense gives him. Outside, Batum trains the three-pointer. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Jackson against Harden. That one's not going to go. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Stolen by Harden. Harris. And slam dunk by Harris. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. Turning defense into offense. Every coach talks about it. Perfect example right there. Patrick Patterson, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Hondo comes in for Reggie Jackson. And then for Brooklyn, Marcus Aldridge is checked in for Jordan. 
Nicholas Claxton comes in for Jeff Green. And it's Brown in for Irving. Here is Harden. Patrick Patterson picking up that last bucket. Aldridge finds Brown. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. Brooklyn shooting their first free throw this game. And OKC Paul George showed he could be an MVP caliber performer. With Kawhi on the Clippers, he could be that 1B or that 1A. Now, here's Kanar. You want your bigs playing B. Rips it down in traffic. The eight-footer. Claxed in the pass to Alder. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Bad play defensively. You try to do too much. A smart player like Aldridge will draw contact, and the call is going to be made. The Nets making a switch here. Griffin's checked in. Because he knows he makes a living at the line, he invites contact and sometimes even initiates it. Morris inside, guarded by Harden. Morris, no good. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Tries again. Here's Aldridge. Shoots over Patterson. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's on Patrick Patterson. He's a big man you do not want to send to the line. LaMarcus is over 80% for his career. And what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. To stop the run. Out to Morris. From 12 feet out. And again, it's the Clippers missing. And not pretty. You just got to shake off a miss like that. And so it's the Brooklyn Nets going into the break with a 10-point lead. What a defense. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And guys, what stands out to you from the Nets in this one? Boy, their offense looks really good when everyone's in sync. Terrific first quarter. This is exactly what you want to see if you're a coach. Your team starting fast and playing with confidence. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. Setting the floor for the Clippers. Morris is out there with Patrick Patterson. That's Rajon Rondo. Then it's Luke Kennard. And it's man in at the two spot. And I just love how aggressive Harden is inside. When he's deep like that, he is ready to finish with authority. Rondo against Harden. It'll go, and the Nets lead is cut down to just 12 points with the basket from Rondo. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. And it goes down two points. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Rondo kicks to Morris from past the arc. A rebound by the Nets. Okay, that's frustrating. You work hard to get these open looks. You know he liked that one back. And arguably no one in the NBA draws more attention than Hart. Part of why that he creates so many opportunities for others. Rondo gets the bucket. Poor interior defense. If you play him soft, he's going to kill you. Now, here is Harden. He's got 10. Inside, Irving. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Harden's got three assists now in this one. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. Patterson with it. I know you appreciate this, Greg. So much of defense now is closing out on the three-point shooting and then protecting the rim. Consequently, pull-up jump shooters are super valuable, and there are a lot of good ones in the NBA right now. No doubt about it. And, and Kevin, you know, you think about a few guys. James Harden, 
I mean, he shoots that step back three, but he's a guy that, because of his ability uh, to utilize your inability to defend that three-pointer, uh, Kyrie, Dame Lillard, those are some guys. Chris Paul still as good as anybody in that mid-range area. C.J. McCollum. These are guys that have really feasted and, and carved out a nice niche for themselves in the NBA because of that ability to take and make jump shots. And I love that list. You're right on. Coming off a scoreless first quarter, he's found a little rhythm here. Brooklyn making some changes. LaMarcus Aldridge has checked in for Nicholas Claxton. Green comes in for Blake Griffin. And Harris subbed in for James Harden. You know, Rondo takes great pleasure at slicing and dicing up the defense. One of the best passers in the game. And it's Irving missing. You expect him to make that, especially from that distance. George finds Rondo. He cans the shot from the wing. Rondo's got nine. In case anyone was wondering, this is what it looks like when you're in the zone. He hasn't missed one all quarter. But to go from 14. It's good on the putback. And the Nets lead by 13. LaMarcus does this well, getting into the mix and creating buckets off the offensive rebounds. Leonard on the wing. One sixteen left here in the second. Wide open. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Great rhythm on the catch and shoot. Kawhi showing us what's good. Irving looking for an opening. And the rejection by Zubox. Aldridge's shot is good. And without looking at the scoreboard, you think they were the team trailing and trying to fight their way back. Clippers trail by 13. Outside Rondo. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. Taking things into his own hands this quarter, trying to keep his team afloat. Outside Irving. They kick it out to Green. It's hauled in by Zubac. Zubac has got four rebounds now tonight. Nicholas Batum, he's checked in for Leonard. And the Nets making a change here as well. DeAndre Jordan's checked in for Green. It's tipped. Good ball movement here by the Clippers. George finds Jackson. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Ooh, the craftiness of... And it looks like, yep, it's a coach's challenge on the personal foul. That triggers a replay review by the official. And this is the time now where the officials can review in closer detail what constituted the original personal foul. Getting a different angle can sometimes make it a lot easier to determine. Greg, indeed, and the one thing with replay review is that when you see the slow motion replay, you really get a new appreciation for just the immense speed at which these players are moving at and how fast the action really is and, and how hard it can be sometimes you know, Greg, to, to make the right call. And so the word is in. They've decided that the call stands as it was made on the floor. And, you know, even if a coach still feels this wasn't the right call, you got to acknowledge the effort being put in to reviewing it. The double checking and the game continues on. The all-around game Paul George possesses is so special. His versatility is what makes him so valuable. Nice job. Those passes have to be right on the money around the painted area. I'm deep. Smother indeed. Something Aldridge can... And so it's the Brooklyn Nets holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Oh, what a game it's been for Kyrie Irving. He had 12 points, 2 assists... And that does it for our... And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. You look at Kyrie Irving in this game, he has been everywhere. 
Yeah, it's been a great performance from him, really staying focused on quality shots. And many of those quality shots have been jumpers, a very high percentage of those in the first half. And Brooklyn, look at who they've got. Green is out there with Harris. Then there's Urban. Then there's DeAndre Jordan. And it's Harden in at the points. Nets leading by 11. Here's Irving. D that time from Leonard. Great move on his way to the bucket there. Just couldn't get it to fall. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's going to be on DeAndre Jordan. Good job inviting contact. The closer Leonard gets to the rim, the more dangerous he becomes. Both free throws good from Kawhi Leonard. Lynette shooting an impressive 65% having their way with his defense. Here's Harden, and Harden with the stuff. And he just dangles from the bucket <laughs> after sending that one through. And you can see which team has the swagger right now. Clippers trail by 11. Now Jackson. And Leonard has it in the corner. Off target from outside. Great perimeter D. Gave a good shooter absolutely no room to operate. Harden's shot is good. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. And George, here we go. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Good luck containing Paul George on the drive. He's one of the more fluent wings in the league. Patterson, he's checked in for the Clippers. And the Nets making a change here as well. Griffin's checked in. And so it's Irving with it, bringing it up for the Brooklyn Nets. At one point, they led by 16. A quick shot there, and it's off target. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Great hustle by Paul, using his speed in the open court. And then, of course, he's an excellent finisher. Elbow shot. No good on the shot. And the Clippers will come the other way. And there's the call on DeAndre Jordan. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for the Nets. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. Only one for four in this half. Sometimes it's execution. Sometimes the shots just don't go down. Promising start for Luke Kennard. End up missing extended minutes with injuries. Hopefully, he can stay healthy this go-around. Here's Mann. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Oh, Leonard in position. And you love that about Kawhi. After he makes a shot, he gives you the poker face. Just goes about his business. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. And a deep three from Harden. The rebound by Patterson. And Kennard's moving into the starting lineup for the first time last season. And to add to that, he had a larger role offensively. And at the same time, his efficiency increased. That's a good sign. Harden outside. Morris with the block. And this is what staying active can give you. Morris sending that one back with authority. So for the Nets, LaMarcus Aldridge comes in for Joe Harris. And it's Bruce Brown in for Kyrie Irving. Harden against Rondo. Count the basket. He can do incredible things. He can also help you win by simply being reliable. George with no one around. Sinks the triple. George has got seven points for the quarter. The mechanics on Paul George's shot are so good. In the end, the range makes no difference. Kicks it out to Harden. Second shot opportunity. Claxton no good. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And you know, we always talk about this. Just changing the shot can be just as effective as blocking it, even though it's less spectacular. Harden against Ronda, the 15-footer. 
tries again. And Aldrich with the layup. Aldrich has got 12. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Harden against George. Great positioning on the putback. The activity level from Patterson is what makes him such an impact on the floor. It's stolen by Morris. And now it's Leonard running. Here we go. All the way. And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. Gotta take care of the ball. They'll punish you uh -huh. if you're that careless. That's right. And that's severe punishment right there. We talk about it time and time again. Turnovers are costly, especially when the game is close. Clippers trail by three. Here's George. And then George with the chance. Letting it all hang out when George takes flight. Just enjoy the show. Harden against Rondo. Harden, no good. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. James Harden getting it done for Brooklyn. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. We come back right after this. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Creating plays for others. It's an art form, but it's also a discipline. Fantastic job. And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ball game. Kawhi Leonard is out there with Batum. Then it's Ivica Zubac. Then it's Paul George. And it's Jackson in at the point. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. And it's out of bounds. The Nets will take it the other way. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. Kyrie Irving's checked in for Brown. And so it's Harden bringing it up for the Nets. At one point, they led by 16. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. You know, it tells you something about Harden that he's led the league in free throw attempts so many times. This man is always in attack mode. Clippers trail by three. Jackson looking it over. Knocked loose. Irving with the steal. Jordan with it. Guarded now by Jackson. Harris dishes to Harden. Sent back by Leonard. Yeah, that shot gets Jack. Great anticipation by the ball. Jump that bucket. Any chance you get, you want to put yourself in a position to succeed, and that's what he did there. Great job of reading the floor. Got to the rim and made a play. Here's Harden, and he finishes nicely on the layup. Harden's got 12 points in just the second half. Adding to this lead, he's been dependable and consistent at the offensive end. Here's George. High post, Zubac. Outside Leonard to tie it up. Goes back up. Outside, George. And it's all evened up. A much different player here in the second half. He's taking advantage of what the defense allows. And that's a foul. It's called on Reggie Jackson. That's his first foul. Here's Jordan. And he goes right over Paul George and slams it down. Putting a little something extra on that one. DeAndre Jordan adding to his highlight reel. George against Harden. Tipped away. Passes to Jackson. To the inside. And Irving with a clear path to the hoop. That drops and it comes off an assist from Jordan. And the Nets lead by four. And this is what you love about the game. Superb defense, great steal, and just like that, they add two points to this narrow lead. Traps in the tray. Leonard's got five points now in the quarter. 
And he just seems to always deliver in the clutch. And, and he's got it going right now. That's who they want taking the big shot. It's a teardrop. Not going to be Paul George with that move. He's too long and too talented of a defender. And the Clippers making a change here. Rondo's checked in. The Clippers have gone three of four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. And there's the call on Kyrie Irving. That'll be his second foul of the game. Jackson, he's checked in for Rajon Rondo. Fourth quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. Outside, Batum. Harden against George. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Harden. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. The Nets with the lead. And now the fast break, Irving with the ball. Let's it go from deep. Batum grabs the miss. Los Angeles has gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Outside for Jackson. George for three. Zubats. It's good on the putback. Zubats has got the lead up to one now for the Clippers. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. And good that time. When the lights are at its brightest, Kyrie loves coming through. George against Harden from 11 feet away. A nice shot by George. George has got 14 points here in the second half. No moment is ever too big for Paul George. He remains confident in the clutch. Out to Harris. Moving against George. The put that. Good! A, a seasoned vet with lots of playoff experience. Jordan remains calm under pressure. Side George. Money! Big time basket at a big time moment. This is why we all watch. The NBA is about these moments. Harden against Jackson. Rebounded by Jackson. Huge challenge at the rim. The defender could not have played that any better. The shot and game clock separated by four. Leonard inside. Harris is there. Oh, and it looks like that's going to be a goaltending call. Yep, that's it. So they'll get the basket. Yeah, that's a tough call for the refs to make there. I'm not sure it was on the way down, but that's that's how they saw it. Jackson against Harden. Jordan at the elbow. And here's Green outside. Oh, he couldn't make that shot go to force overtime. So it's Los Angeles taking the W in a close one. That was a fun night of basketball and fabulous finish this day. All right, David, great job. Thanks so much. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it.